Claudia Webb and I'm the Member of Parliament for Leicester East. And yes, I not only called for an immediate ceasefire, I voted for an immediate ceasefire and I've continued to support every call in Parliament for an immediate ceasefire. We need a ceasefire now and we must be unequivocal about that. I want to thank you for letting me join you today on what is a brilliant show of resolve and solidarity. We stand here in solidarity with the people of Palestine and you are right to do so because you are on the right side of history and don't let them tell you otherwise. In a bleak political landscape where the establishment is on the side of the occupiers and war criminals, the fact that you are here as students of this country, you represent the backbone of the resistance to complicity in genocide and to creeping fascism. What you are doing here today is sending a very clear message, a message of hope and solidarity to the oppressed, to the oppressed people of Palestine, and a warning, yes a warning, to the political establishment who hope will grow weary. They want us to grow weary and to forget, forget what they are enabling. But we won't forget, will we? We won't grow weary and we won't forget Israel's war on humanity, Israel's war on the innocent people of Gaza has now killed more than 40,000 people, maimed, massacred and wounded more than 80,000 and is inflicting famine on more than a million. Children are dying of hunger of malnutrition and famine, wasted away to nothing before our eyes. We are witnessing it daily, and we ask our political leaders, do you not see, do you not see what we see? The UN Special Rapporteur on the right to food has said that Israel is using hunger using starvation as a weapon of war. And that he has never seen children punished into starvation so quickly. He called Gaza a stage of horror, a stage where even desperate families trying to get aid are murdered in their hundreds. And while the rest of us tremble, with indignation and outrage. David Cameron says his patient is wearing thin with mass murder. Thin, but not gone. Just words to camouflage his and the government's complete lack of action to prevent slaughter. Their complicity in genocide and their readiness to fan the flames of regional war is unforgivable. And Rishi Sunak is attacking those who protest against the murder, calling them, calling you haters, calling for zero tolerance of opposition to genocide, telling us all to go home because we've made our point. Imagine. Keir Starmer, the so called leader of His Majesty's opposition, praises him, calls it leadership. When we're not trying to win an argument, that's not what we're doing here, is it? We've won the argument. The vast majority of people in this country want an end to the slaughter. We're not arguing. We're trying to prevent a genocide. That's why we're here.
here. It's not hate. It's not hate to want Israel to stop killing civilians in Gaza. It's not hate to want Israel to stop killing Palestinians. It's not hate to call war crimes war crimes. It's not hate to demand justice and an end to industrial scale murder of civilians. And all the spin of the friends of genocide can't fool the many. They can't fool us. I'm proud of you all. I'm proud of you all for being willing to stand up and to walk out, willing to be here, for putting your studies on hold, to fight for those being massacred, maimed and slaughtered, and to say, to say to the perpetrators, no more, no more, not in our name, 